Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Wolfen Out, and we are into episode two of uh, XCOM. I haven't really done anything except I did go in and change my heavy to uh, Squatty Ultimate Drago, which is my son. So uh, he's Ultimate Drago. I haven't changed anybody else's names for now. I'm not worried about it. Unless somebody here wants to be have their name, uh, have a soldier with their name, then let me know in the comments or something, or a message that you want, you'd like a character named after you. And then we can try to keep that character alive. Uh, no guarantee, though. Okay, so, uh, the last mission we left off, uh, you know, the first mission, just to get to, this, to where we've been on base, we lost two rookies. But our second mission, we managed to got some engineers and no loss of life so we're good so what we're waiting on right now is two days for our research here 14 days to build a satellite and 25 days for our council let's go to mission control and start our scan contact fast. okay we have a small ufo contact over brazil there it is let's send our let's uh we've got two Ships. Let's go ahead and send one. First in the boat. It's off to Notre We have eyes on the bandit. Retask Recon Satellite Bravo and get me a visual on that crash site. She's coming into range now, sir. Very good. On screen. Magnify. Still in one piece. Commander, I recommend we get a strike team to the crash site immediately. That would be us, in case you were wondering. Okay, here we go. Send the Sky Ranger. So, Drago, Rossi, Cho, and David all our squaddies. You know what? We might want to get rid of one of these people, though. And... I kind of want all these people, though, but... It might be worth it... ...to get another rookie... ...try to get another rookie... Try to get another squad. Touching down. And begin the assault. Brazilian authorities have requested our help, so that's where we're going next. It looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. Yes, me too. Yes, we're going to lay waste to all. Clear, Big Sky. We'll monitor those readings from here. Yeah, let's see. Strike one is authorized to assault That's the alien craft. It's huge that way. It goes pretty far that way too. No, not that far. I bet you the crash site's over here somewhere. You can't see anything yet, but it's the map goes huge that way. Okay, let's begin. Okay. Uh, let's get our. Pistol. Oh, it's not going to Overwatch yet. That's not going to Overwatch yet. Okay. Cho. Cho is our support. 
she can make it all the way up to this tree. McDonald is our rookie today. McDonald is the rookie. What is this cover right here? Ah, uh, but it's a dash. I'm gonna do it. And finally is Drago, our heavy. Drago. Uh, I want him out close too, so I'm gonna have him dash. That gives us two people on Overwatch. So we'll put Rossi and Chow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not stabilize. Overwatch. Careful. Well, nobody has much of anything, I guess. They've all got pretty crappy health. So. Uh, and our sniper. I think this turn we can put him on Overwatch. On Overwatch. But next turn he's gonna have to start moving out. And then Cho can go on Overwatch. Drago can go on Overwatch. Pistol because we can move it. Let's put him on Overwatch with the pistol. Yeah, okay. I got a mind mode. Yeah. And now shoot the rookie. Let's get him closer. He's taking a shot on him. Oh no! No! <laughs> Sniper can still not get a shot. So let's move over here. Now he has a shot. Not a very good one. There. 
Let's see what everybody else has. up here to this full cover. I'm going to have Drago pull forward just slightly. Aha! There it is. There's the uh, Falling back. Yeah, look at him run. He's like, oh crap. I don't think we're that alone was a out here. Shot. There we go. And of course, my sniper can hit anything. But I'm going to probably put him. Sniper with no K. 
kills. This is Rossi. Readings uh, can't be right. If you were, this energy monster is like being kind of the head and he kicks my energy. And I can't, I have to reload. And I moved so I can't attack. Dang it. He has to reload. Let's do this. Yeah. Kill Joe. Joe's get 
going crazy here. Yep. Okay, well, I'm screwed. He did not hit that one. Okay, he still has a shot up here. It's still the same crappy shot, though. She's almost dead, but I put her on Overwatch. Well, this alien's dead. Somebody's gonna shoot her ass in, right? Oh, we're dead. We just got killed. We got KIA! My sniper. Yeah, that's, that's why. Sucks. To withstand an impact like that, at such a velocity, the materials used in that vessel's hull See, must be at least an order of magnitude rocket. beyond any element we know of. That looks like the primary power source for the alien craft. I could only hazard a guess as to the amount of power it would have to be generating to okay, propel that shit. Very interesting. I'd watch your fire down there. That equipment could be yeah, highly unstable. So. Come on. This is it. Adjust the sight. Weapons dry. No trouble now. She's like, from this point, he only has a 17% chance to hit. From here, you only have an 18% chance to hit that one. I'm about to start keeping score. I'm nervous about bringing McDonald in because she's just about on a deathbed. But he can kill you in your full. He killed Rossi. Rossi was in full health. He killed it, so. Kill me right now. See, look at that. One left. Alright, Cho, this is it. We're going right up. It's 100 points. It's only 90. No, I didn't notice that. Oh no. Let's rock. And then I just hit reload instead of run. She's dead. If she, if it, if it's only four, she can only do four damage, so she won't kill him anyway. Yeah, she made a nice made us mistake. I did not. What? 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 How did I lock out? The computer's being nice up here. That is insane. Of course you missed. My weapon's spent. That's it. I'm out.
might as well just start the whole game over. See, it's all because of that rocket. Because he missed that rocket. And I'm playing too aggressive. Too aggressive. From both my guys. Playing too aggressive for how weak my guys are. Chalk up another one. That's part of the problem. Alright. That is awful. Two people lost. Two scores. have the best equipment available uh, yeah. but I guess it just wasn't enough she's had for 14 days all right and he's out for 15 days superb all right well we can go to the situation room and go to the gray market because we have several two members of the council have expressed an interest in acquiring some of the artifacts we've recovered however we should be careful in choosing what items we release the research team may not have discovered their true value yet. Where, we? Where did we go for that? Brazil, I think? Oh, yeah, but we have... doesn't matter. We've got a satellite over us anyway. doesn't matter. Okay. Well, I guess nothing left to do, but... How many soldiers do we have? Commander, we've suffered a number soldiers. of casualties and we haven't found suitable some. replacements yet. We need to start hiring additional soldiers through the barracks. Hire a few soldiers. Okay, so let's hit mission control. Scan for some activity. Get our first uh, research thing done. You're telling me that we should risk the lives of our troops so we can take one of these things alive? Yes. Without a live specimen, I'm afraid we've reached the pinnacle of what my team is able to accomplish. And how do you suggest we do this, Doctor? The autopsy I've just completed confirms that the alien's physiology is quite similar to our own. A highly concentrated electrical current delivered at close range should cause neuromuscular... Close range? And what happens if it doesn't work? Do you really think this is worth the risk? I do. We do not know our enemy. How can we hope to stop something that we do not understand? If we can capture one of these creatures alive, we may be able to communicate with it. And interrogate it. Find out what they want. Where they're operating from. Yes. That possibility outweighs all risks, in my opinion. I can construct a safe enough facility to house our captive, but I do not know how we could possibly communicate with it. Not to worry. I will see to that. All right. I'll speak to the commander. I'm sorry. Okay, Xenobiology is ready. We have the new objective is to capture an alien. We've managed to successfully map the alien specimen's entire genome, although I wasn't entirely sure it would be possible using our existing DNA sequencing techniques. However, our success has led to the startling realization that this creature's genetic structure is quite similar to our own. This discovery has piqued the interest of the research team as it only raises more questions as to the origin of the species. Having examined seven of the co several of the alien corpses, we've also observed a trend key com a trend. Key components of the alien's genetic structure are mirrored perfectly across each of the specimens. Although it is presumptive at this point to draw conclusions as, as to how this is possible, I believe it is only logical to assume this alien is a product, product of aggressive genetic engineering well beyond anything conceived of on Earth. If the aliens are truly capable of this sort of manipulation at a cellula cellular level, I fear we may have only scratched the surface of their technolo technological advantages over us. In any case, further research is imperative, and while we've obviously made a number of discoveries working with the corpses, I feel we may need to acquire a living specimen if we truly hope to find the answers. And we need to we can now build the alien containment. Here it is, we can build it, and we can have an alien containment unit. Oh. Alright, so we've hit our 30 minute mark here. And now the arc. Of course, the arc thrower is the priority. No, I'm still like having research. a hard time grasping what it is the aliens are hoping to accomplish let's do the here. Because are they studying us? Why abduct humans studying. seemingly so at random? There must be a. We've made a number of interesting discoveries based on the autopsy results of the alien specimen you brought back. The research team is now referring to this particular variation as a sectoid. 
based on the unusual structure of its internal organs, which we believe to be the product of genetic manipulation. As we've seen in the field, this species also seems to harbor some sort of telepathic ability. Instant. So we've got, we found no discernible genetic variants between any of the small humanoid aliens that have examined thus far. They are perfect genetic copies, each and every one of them. The subject brain is quite sizable with respect to its body and appears to have been augmented even further with cybernetic implants of some kind. Considering the fragile nature of this creature's physical form, it is safe to assume that these implants were intended to somehow improve the combat effectiveness of the species. Dr. Shen and the engineering team have already developed several theories as to how we might be able to adapt these implants for our own use. Additional tactical information may be available in the field when viewing hostile targets in the unit analysis view. Dr. V Valen's personal note, cloning genetic ma manipulation biomedical implants. The implications of this technology and the alien motives are not reassuring, and we get the uplink targeting thing for our ships, basically. So this allows us to build this thing with our ship that allows us to get, like, guaranteed hits or something, if you if you make it. Okay, so we do want the... Uh, the arc is the priority, but I think I'm going to go for I don't know, alien materials right now. And we'll start that, and we'll back out, and that is it for this episode. So, not a good episode. Uh, we lost two soldiers, part of that's, some of that's my fault, I got too aggressive. And I pulled that one girl back, and she lived, but then I was having the other one run forward and get in there, and just trying to get some hit damage, and I ended up losing, losing her, unfortunately. So, uh, we'll have to be more careful. I need, to, I need to take it easier. This is harder level. This is harder than normal, and I need to take it easier. We need to back off, play defensively. So stay tuned for the next episode, and we'll see if I can actually remember and follow that advice. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.